Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell, coming to you today from PTC 2022. And joining me today is Philip Marangella, CMO of Edge Connects. Pleasure to have you, as always. Thanks, Barb. Yeah. Great to see you. So we're here, we're live, we're in uh, PTC. Uh, tell us how what's it like for you this year? It's good to be back? Yeah, it is, certainly. I wasn't sure if it was going to happen, uh, yeah. you know, with Omicron, but... Uh, um, you know, got the booster and you, there's quite a QR code process getting here, but glad to finally yeah. make it. Yeah. yeah. It's good though, right? Making it safe for everyone. And I, I think that, um, you've, I know that you've been busy and lots of meetings happening. And, I think and everybody's so. happy to be back in Hawaii. So yeah. it's certainly yeah. good to be back after being locked up for so long. Right. Hopefully yeah. it's an indication of where things are going yeah, absolutely. Be more and more in person, right? Yeah, but, absolutely. So tell us about what's happening at Edge Connects. Um, I think that some new investments and global expansion. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, since we last talked, I was, I was talking with, with Jamie two years ago here. Uh, it's been a busy two years. We were acquired during that time. Um, and then having by EQT, it's a Swedish infrastructure fund, and having that new partner, that new backer, has really accelerated our growth. So last year is has been crazy. We started the year in February with a, a big joint venture in India. Um, we formed a company called the Donny Connects, and we looked to build out a uh, national data center platform across India. Um, book in that at the end of the year um, in China. So we invested in a data center operator called Chiora. Um, so, you know, not, you know, those are both massive markets, each in, in their own right. So did that. And then in between, um, you know, we did an acquisition in Israel. We expanded into Barcelona, um, expanded into Brussels, it expanded in South America. And so it, it was an absolute crazy year. Um, and it was COVID, right? So doing all that uh, in 2021 was no small feat, but certainly busy. Yeah. But it was it was great. It was fun. And, uh, you know, kind of the global edge has kind of been our mantra this past year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, amazing that you've been able to keep all of that in motion with everything that's been happening around the world and do it globally. Yeah. Um, and a lot of our viewers, I think, know, you know, of course, Edge Connects. Uh, oh. You're not new to, to our conversations. Yeah. Um, but, you know, and, and I think people know that you build and support data centers from edge to hyperscale and across the spectrum. But tell us, I think you have another mission that maybe we could talk about today, customers, people, planet mission. Talk about that and why it's so important to your you know, view as a, as a company, but how you fit within the industry as a whole. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of yeah. our underlying mission is it, 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 keeping it simple. Right. And it's, if you take care of your customers, you take care of your people, and, and lastly, if you take care of the planet, everything else should, you know, by and large, sort itself out, right? And, and, and it sounds, uh, you know, very kind of simple and trite, but, but, you know, you unpack that a bit, right? And listening to your customers, giving them what they want, where they want, when they want, it, that's not rocket science, right? And that's what's been our secret to our success in, in many respects of we're not making the customer come to where we are. We're listening to them and it's that hyper local edge data center or that hyper scale data center and anything in between and, and really giving the products and the solutions um, that best meet their needs so then they can best meet their customers needs in return. All the while focusing on the people of Edge Connects, right? A, a, we have a very robust and rich diversity inclusion program. We look to, you know, we've been rapidly, you know, expanding and hiring over the past year to support this tremendous growth um, and creating this culture and this framework to, you know, grow out because those are, that's essential. They're supporting the customers. So you want a happy employee base. And most recently we started adding, you know, not only through throughout the organization, also on the leadership team. We have a new um, chief strategy officer, a new head for innovation, um, a new leader in um, 
in Asia, also kind of focused on supporting our customers. So, so, so that's vital. And then lastly, and it's kind of the wrapper on it all, is the sustainability efforts, right? Taking care of our planet, making sure how we build is done in a, a extremely sustainable way, right? And that's not just carbon, that's water, right? That's materials, that's everything that goes in, into the data center. Thinking about it from a sustainable way, start tracking it, start reporting on it, and start innovating on it in terms of how we build and operate. And again, it's, it's, it's kind of this Venn diagram you do that, that supports our customers as well, right? Because that's now becoming table stakes. So you can see the why customers, people, and planet, it's all interrelated and, and they all kind of build upon each other to kind of allow us to kind of deliver the best kind of global data center solution around the world. It's so honestly impressive and exciting, you know, to watch how you've just been exploding with growth, but doing it, you know, with a real eye to your corporate values and, and in a meaningful way and, and actually living them. Yeah. So it's not just words, you're actually doing all of this and it's, yeah. it's, yeah, it's, it's refreshing and, yeah. and great to see. And so tell us what next, you know, we've sort of a lot's been happening over the last couple of years you've been mentioning, but you know, talk about 2022 and beyond. It, yeah, no rest, right? Yeah. Pedal to the metal. Um, we continue obviously to integrate the, um, the uh, acquisitions we did last year uh, expand also those uh, in, in terms of uh, investing in them and going to two new markets in India and China and, and elsewhere. But this year you will continue to see that global edge expansion, right? Asia has been a big focus last year. It will continue to be a focus this year. More markets, more dots on the map. Uh, Latin America as well is, 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 uh, is certainly a growth area for us. Um, and kind of scaling out our footprint there, not only where we have it, but into to, to new markets. And then EMEA as well. Um, we continue to build out capacity across the way there. Again, getting back to the sustainability thing is also investing in the technologies, the innovations, thinking about power differently, right? And, and, and partnerships around renewable energy, renewable sources, solar, wind, you know, hydro, all these kind of things are what we're trying to innovate on. Um, you know, this is in particular something we're doing in India with our partner with Adani. They are the largest solar manufacturer and provider in India, and being able to integrate that into our offering is really differentiating us. And so using that kind of proof point and use case, replicating that in other markets and other locales around the world are things that we're looking to um, further expand upon and build out in 2022. So. so important, such important work, and, and so great that you're doing this in parallel. You know, you've had enough on your plate, but you're also, you know, taking all of, you know, a, a really important view at, at how you do it and carefully and thoughtfully um, and embarking on that. So, cool. Philip, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been really, it's always a pleasure. It's always yeah, a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. So, and I we know. We miss Jamie. I know she, I know. she didn't make the trip, but. Uh, but always a pleasure to yeah. see you guys at JSA and appreciate everything you do to help us, you know, in terms of our global expansion. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. It's, we're, we're honored. We're yes. honored to be part of it with you. And uh, so thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.